What is up, NAU? My name's Joe, and I'm this year's student body president. I serve as the head of the Associated Students of Northern Arizona University, or ASNAU for short, your undergraduate student body government. This year, we're especially focused on advocating for student issues and being a better voice for our underrepresented students. As you can tell from my intro, this year is gonna be pretty different. With words like uncertain being the norm, I think it's especially important to recognize that we're all struggling through this together. So many people across the university are working nonstop to make sure you have access to the resources you need as a student to succeed. I just want everyone to know that just because there's a screen between us, none of us at NAU are alone. Without further ado, let's kick this off. Our first guest college career at NAU began with the STAR program, or the Successful Transition and Academic Readiness Program in the summer of 2007. Since then, she's established herself as a two-time NAU alumna with a bachelor's in anthropology and a master's in educational leadership. She currently serves the NAU community as the associate director of recruitment, advocating for educational equity, access, and student agency. Here's Danny Donaldson. Hello, Lumberjacks. As Joe mentioned, my name is Danny Donaldson, and I am excited to be among the first folks to welcome you to NAU. Classes began virtually on August 12th for all students, and we'll see those of you in the classroom who are taking in-person classes on August 31st. Everyone on campus will wear a mask and maintain six feet of physical distance following the Lumberjack way. That includes students, staff, faculty, and guests. Lumberjack care kits, including two masks, hand sanitizer, and a thermometer will be provided to every student, faculty, and staff member. This semester, we have been using NAU Flex technology, allowing your classes to be live streamed with students in and out of the classroom asking questions, interacting in real time with their professors and peers to get that classroom experience. Following CDC guidelines and utilizing national best practices, the university has also implemented new cleaning standards for public spaces, residence halls, and dining areas. Campus dining has removed a significant number of tables and chairs in all of the eateries on campus to allow students to eat while practicing appropriate physical distancing. Several on-campus dining options also offer pickup and food delivery via the Starship robots, which have multiplied in number and extended their reach this fall. Buses are being cleaned and sanitized throughout the day, and all passengers are encouraged to wear face coverings. Hand sanitizer dispensers are installed at all bus stops and should be used before and after boarding. Once you get where you're going, You'll use the Wait While app to hold your place in line for popular services or appointments on campus to avoid lines and in-person crowds. Students are expected to practice public health guidelines in their on-campus housing as well, just as they would when living in their home. Everyone can do their part to keep our campus community safe. For more up-to-date information, visit nau.edu forward slash jacks are back. Leading the way for all Lumberjacks is our university president, Dr. Rita Hartung Chang. The 16th president of Northern Arizona University, President Chang knows that higher education transforms lives and works tirelessly on behalf of every student at NAU. Please join me in welcoming NAU President Chang. Welcome Lumberjacks. We share your excitement in resuming classes or starting your college experience. Whether you are in Flagstaff, on a statewide campus, or online, I am inspired with the way you are embracing this semester, being flexible, creative, with a new sense of focus on your goals, dreams, and aspirations. We are in a unique place in history. We have been presented an opportunity to do things differently, to discover and innovate. During these complex times, we have a chance to strengthen or refocus our dreams, to engage with the world and provide solutions to today's challenges. I know this year will be a special experience at NAU. As we move through this semester, please remember to stay safe. NAU cares greatly about your academic, 
physical and emotional well-being, and we offer many services to support you. Take advantage of academic and social opportunities virtually and in person when you can do so safely. I encourage you to use the technology available to you to join clubs and make connections with your peers, ensuring you are connected with those around you. Please remember to stay true to your Lumberjack Way pledge, remembering to use your mask, wash your hands, and keep your distance around each other. Even if you feel well, your actions will affect others around you. All of us at NAU wish you the best. We have worked hard to welcome you back this fall. Welcome to life as a Lumberjack. I wish you a great year. Be well and be safe. Go Jacks! Thank you for the words of encouragement, President Chang. Once again, here's Danny. Whether you are tuning in from the Flagstaff campus, joining us from a campus community site somewhere in the state, or viewing from another part of the country, I want to acknowledge that we are standing on tribal and indigenous lands with a moment of silence to honor those who came before us. Thank you. Welcome to Northern Arizona University and welcome to Flagstaff. As a two-time NAU alumna and a Flagstaff local, I am so excited to know that you have chosen NAU for your journey of academic and self-discovery. So much awaits you here. As an NAU student, I explored my academic options, changing majors five times throughout my academic career. I discovered a love for anthropology, and thanks to a curriculum that supported inquiry and critical thinking and the guidance of Dr. Carrie Thompson, I was able to get involved with research and even spent a summer doing field work up in the North Rim of the Grand Canyon. I should also take a moment here to thank my wonderful advisor, Andrea Sequeptua. Without her guidance, belief, and encouragement, I'm not sure I would have graduated in four years, especially with five major changes. Outside of academics, I experienced firsthand the many challenges that college students face. I wasn't quite sure how to make friends. It's nerve wracking being in a new place with so many new faces. I worked two jobs while balancing a full-time schedule, which helped my finances, but creating and sticking to a budget was a whole other thing. I somehow had a lot of time and not enough time. Time management was definitely a struggle, but I'm grateful for the STAR program, the skills I built early on, and the head start I was able to receive because of my peer mentors, my supplemental instructors, and NAU staff members who made sure that I knew I belonged here. Certainly there were times in which I felt overwhelmed when I wasn't sure if I knew that I would make it to the finish line, but I never gave up. Sometimes that meant calling my family, getting those words of encouragement from my parents, or planning a trip to go home for a spaghetti dinner and free laundry. Other times it meant talking with my little sister and remembering that I was setting an example for her each time I chose to take on a challenge. Regardless of the adversity I faced, I knew I could find a reason to continue. And with the support of NAU, my family, and belief in myself, I did. I learned a lot about myself along the way, and I made it through. My experience, however, was pre-COVID-19, and I think we all realize that the college experience is going to look a little bit different this year. We'll be maintaining a physical distance of six feet. Everyone will have masks on. The semester began in a virtual setting, so things might feel a little strange. But I think we can also acknowledge that we have all experienced struggles, feelings of newness, fear, and anxiety before. Do you remember your first day of high school or that time you tried out for varsity? The first time you got a low grade on a test or how it felt when schools announced that classes would be online for the remainder of the semester. Support helps us to get through these events and the thoughts and feelings that come with them. So it's important to remember that we are all transitioning to this new environment. As the late and great Bill Withers once said, we all need somebody to lean on. And while I'm not encouraging anyone to physically lean on someone else, 
I want to emphasize the many places where you can find support here at NAU. Research has shown that mentoring has a powerful, positive effect in personal, academic, and professional situations. Connecting with a peer mentor through one of NAU's student affairs mentoring programs makes a difference. Peer and professional mentors can help normalize the transition to college and some of the experiences you might be having, like missing the ocean for those of you coming from coastal cities, or helping you find the best carne asada fries and raspados in town. Equally important is taking care of your emotional and mental health. Going to college can be stressful. Moving to a new city might cause some fear. So going to college in a new city in the midst of a pandemic, you might have some strong and overwhelming emotions right now. At the Health and Learning Center, all students have access to NAU's counseling services who are offering telehealth appointments this year. Students can participate in group or individual appointments and even participate in relationship counseling. Health promotion is also stepping up virtually this semester so that you have access to resources like practicing mindfulness and meditation, nutrition resources, and learning how to cope during COVID. Keep in touch with your family back home and find your family on campus. Maybe staying connected looks like a standing Zoom or Google Hangout once a month. Surely we're all pros at this by now. Whatever it is, call home every once in a while or jump on FaceTime. And while you're here, create your family by getting to know the people in offices like First Gen Programs and the Office of Indigenous Student Success. Show up for out and proud connections and multicultural mixers through the Office of Inclusion. You have the opportunity to find people with backgrounds similar as yours and also can learn to appreciate cultures that are different from your own. And most importantly, show up for yourself. Prioritizing your needs is important, especially when routines seem out of whack. So go for a hike or a run or a bike ride. The urban trail system has over 50 miles worth of trails that connect to our campus. Walk downtown to Macy's and be present with the smells of an Oregon chai tea latte. Make time in your day to set up that hammock you got at Peace Surplus. Or walk over to Lee's Asian Market and pick up some matcha mochi and some daisho kimchi nabe. Whatever it is that re-energizes you, make sure you make time for that this semester. And remember, when you need the help, NAU is here for you. We're in this together, Jax. Welcome to NAU. I think we can all relate to some of the things that Danny said. Thank you so much. Our next guest, I get the privilege of working with almost every day. Please welcome ASNAU's Vice President of Student Affairs, Lily Cervantes. Hello everyone. My name is Lily Cervantes and I am the Vice President of Student Affairs at ASNAU. Just to let y'all know a little bit more about me, I was born and raised in Fort Worth, Texas, and my major is in Environmental Sustainability Studies. And I'm going into my junior year at NAU. I'm so excited to kick off this school year and I hope y'all are just as excited. One of the things that I love most about NAU is our traditions. Today we'll be, we will be teaching you about a few of our favorite traditions, including the fight song, alma mater, the LJs, and True Blue Fridays. Some of these traditions have been a part of our university for over a century, and by participating in them, we are able to be a part of NAU's history. Let's watch a quick video of our NAU fight song. Let's watch that one more time.
My favorite time to sing the fight song is at football games, and I look forward to singing it again at our sporting events when they can resume safely. Now to NAU's alma mater. The phrase alma mater comes from two Latin words meaning nourishing or bountiful mother. By the early 18th century in Britain, it had come to refer to one's university. An alma mater song is an official or de facto song, anthem, or hymn of a college or university. Let's look at this video of NAU's alma mater. Next, I'm going to show you all how to do the LJs. Um, all you have to do is make an L with your right hand, and you wanna also make that same thing with your left hand, but you're gonna hook your thumb to make the J. Students like to do this to show their lumberjack pride. The last tradition I wanted to let you all know about is True Blue Fridays. Every Friday, our faculty, staff, and students are encouraged to show their NAU pride by wearing their NAU apparel. Be sure to follow the ASNAU Instagram at official underscore ASNAU to get updates on the Kiss My Axe shirt um, distribution that will be happening soon. Thanks, Lily. Cody Canning is an NAU alum, senior lecturer in first year seminar, director of first year seminar, and the director of the first year learning initiative. Here's Cody. Could you have chosen a more unusual time to come to college to start your first year? Probably not. Imagine this time last year, if somebody had approached you and said, between March and August of 2020, a mysterious virus will take over the globe, halt economies, ground commercial flights, end sports seasons prematurely, close schools, graduations, proms, rites of passage, canceled. Economic uncertainty not seen since the Great Depression in almost every sector of the economy. Emergence of a social justice movement in the midst of all that, leading to protests and demonstrations in every American city. If somebody would have made that prediction to you, you would have been like, nah, it's too much. It's too much. And yet you're here and you're in good company. You see, in the history of humanity, life has always found a way to carry on even in very unusual circumstances, sometimes dire circumstances. Sometimes I think about the Black Death of the 14th century, the bubonic plague, that killed tens of millions of people. And in that time, babies were born, people were married, houses built, ideas conceived, and poems written. Even more proximal than that, on North Campus, there's a monument, has a big anchor on it. And it's a monument to uh, the Navy men who came to this campus during the Second World War to prop up enrollment. And it reminds me that in some of the very classrooms you'll be sitting in, that during that time, students sat in those very rooms wondering about the safety of their loved ones who were fighting a war on the other side of the planet against people that now, today, we consider some of our most valued allies. And then there's strange things even happening in your house at this moment. It's hard for you to imagine probably, but your family, your parents, their baby, this little person they brought home from school or from, well, from school, but also from the hospital to begin with, that they taught how to ride a bike, that they used to feed mushed food to, they clean, scrape knees, that, that, that person is now going to college. That's a big deal. 
and every parent experiences it different. And despite all of these strange circumstances, you're here, you're here, you're in college, you're starting your journey. And I think you'll do well. One, because you're smart and you're hardworking. There's evidence of that already in your presence here. Nobody washes up on the shores of college accidentally. This is an intentional decision and you've earned it. You'll also do well because you want to. And because many of you want to do that to improve not only your opportunity in life, but the opportunities for your entire family system. But you'll also do well, <coughs> excuse me, because you have to, because we need you to. I'm not just saying NAU, I mean all of us. Your generation has big challenges ahead. Your generation will need to find a way to restructure and reimagine huge sections of our economy, not just to produce wealth and prosperity and opportunity for people, but to do that while not destroying our only home, our only planet, the only place we have to live. We have a world where we are responsible for creating wealth and prosperity for as many people as we can, but we also have a world where there are so many indignities and exploitations of other people. And now in an interconnected world where you can capture on the smartphone the indignities of others and share that and the internet, we have a collective responsibility in a way to do what we can to hold to our abiding principles of protecting the inalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for all of us. And none of this is political. This is not about politics. It's about possibility. It's about your possibility. Now, all of this may seem intense or even dire, but I believe that your generation on some fronts may be our last best hope for a very bright future. These expectations are high, but I want to share a story with you about my life. My first job when I graduated college was I was a high school history teacher and I got a job at the high school I went to and was under the mentorship of the people that made me want to be a high school teacher. And I want to tell you a story of two men. Their names are Chip and Rudy. I was getting my feet wet, learning how to do the job. And Chip and Rudy approached me and said, we're going to have you teach another class because you need the additional practice. It's good for you. And I sort of flipped out and I said, that's too much work. I can't do that. What if I don't do well? And they said, listen, we're asking you to do this because one, it's good for you, but two, because we think you can do it. And here's what they said that really shaped me. They said, and we refuse to disrespect you with low expectations. And I refuse to disrespect you with low expectations. I also have hope and faith in you. All educators at some level share this common bond of faith and hope in the generation ahead. It's what we've committed ourselves to. It is in a way our educational religion. The key to all of this will not be just a degree. You're going to walk out of here with more than just a degree, my friends. You will have built something in your mind. You see, a degree gets you into the room. It gets you into the job interview. It gets you to the first day of that job. But the investments you make in your mind is what will allow you to change the conversation in those rooms. In the best case scenario, what you learn here today or learn here at NAU in the next four years, how you seek to grow and develop while you're here, it will be just the starting point of a life marked not just by doing well for yourself, but doing good for others to boot. So I wish you the best of luck. I encourage you to reach out when you need help, ask for help for your professors, campus organizations, clubs, seek healthcare, both mental and physical. I encourage you to not let a single exam or a course grade define you. I encourage you to remember that college is a sprint. It's a long race. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So ease into it, breathe, pace yourself. And it's kind of a gross thing to say, but you know the old saying, uh, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. 
And lastly, I encourage you to pursue what you deserve. You deserve an excellent education, equity, and well-being. If you feel like you don't have that, you say something. It's your right, and we want to listen. Good luck, have fun, and we'll see you around. Thank you, Cody. And once again, special thanks to all of our guests for participating today. And thank you to all of you for joining us. The last words of encouragement I have to leave with you are just to get involved on campus. Hop onto True Blue Connects and find a club or organization that piques your interest, because I guarantee that there will be students that are tackling some of the same challenges that you are. Connections are what I value the most from my college experience. So make sure you're still connecting with others. One of ASNAU's senators said earlier this week, through perseverance, we strive. So I look forward to persevering together this semester and striving alongside each other. Go Jacks.